the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. There is something called a messy seat. Exodus chapter 25. When you read 17 to 22, just write it for reference. The messy seat truly means the mercy of God. It's as simple, as clear, as honest as that. What is the mercy of God? The mercy of God is a factor that is, is an invention from his intelligence to be able to deal with man in spite of the vacillations of man. The mercy of God was an invention that was custom made for man. God builds the idea of mercy so that in spite of the frailties of man, there is still a guarantee that he can end. This is the reason why mercy is not an attribute of God that angels and other beings experience. That's why Satan cannot be forgiven because mercy is not within his jurisdiction. And to tell you how determined God is for us to be partakers of his mercy, he tied his mercy with time so that every 24 hours as time resets, his mercy also resets. It's in your Bible. He says his mercies are new every morning. Hallelujah. The mercy of God is not a license for licentiousness, but it's an advantage. The mercy of God gives me guarantee that in spite of my frailties, I will still be able to birth the purposes of God. The mercy of God is a covenant that we had with David. As a result of the desire of David to build him a house, he came and he entered the covenant of mercy with David. He says, no matter what you do, David, I have covenanted with you. Saul did not have his mercy. That's why he lost his throne. Saul was more well behaved than David. Oh yes, read your Bible. Saul was by far more well behaved than David. But the mercies of David. You are good and your mercy is forever. You are good and your mercy is forever. Now, watch this. All healings, all deliverances, all restorations stem from that department of his mercy it is on the strength of god's mercy that we can guarantee that someone who has been oppressed that a family that legally gave themselves to the devil as lawful captives when it has to do with victory over captivity is not power you need is the mercy of god There are spirits you don't just bind and cast. There are rules of engagement. There is a kind of captivity called lawful captivity. It is this kind that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb. For instance, the legal access that Satan had over us by reason of the fall of Adam could not be casted away. No. God did not use power to save man. It was the blood and his death. His power was demonstrated in that mercy. Are we together now? So tonight, 
I have two assignments in this place. I've just completed one. To challenge you that you can become a mobile ark. Gather the elements that they gathered. Obey what they obeyed. That glory will rest upon you the same way it rested upon them. An individual can be a career of that presence. You can take that presence everywhere. Anybody who drags you who is a Philistine will soon know what he carried. You don't have to tell people I am dangerous. Let the devil try you. And what happened to the Philistines? When they took the ark, they stole it. The ark that was not talking was bringing havoc in the camp of the enemy. But when the same ark was taken to the house of Obed Edom, in 90 days, 90 days, that means if you are employed in three months of your being in that office, there are things that should begin to happen as a testament that the ark has arrived. Like I was teaching you yesterday, please, this is not some Pentecostal motivation. Believe me, it is true. You can be a living, breathing career of this ark. That way, when people are tired of trouble, they invite you to their house. Who do we invite to just sit down for five minutes? And you just sit down in their house and they say just to say God bless you. And you stand up and they start rejoicing. Because right there, the five minutes visitation, it was not just a man that came. The man is the wood, the earthen vessel. But there is the excellency of what has come upon it. When you stretch your hands to heal the sick it is not the mortal hands of a man no 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 just help those under the anointing when you stretch your hands to deliver the demons are not seeing hands you are the one who is seeing a hand the demons are seeing the same act that same act Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the light of your river flow. Let the truth of your kingdom let it rain, let it rain in us. Let the weight your glory please listen one day I was in the place of prayer and I was caught up in the realm of the spirit and I began to hear the song of angels and this was the song that I heard let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let it cover all the earth let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Ela para o siga da palavra Hear me. You're here in this place tonight. Before I begin to pray for the sick, I know that our time is gone. in the construction of the ark there are elements the first of them that i taught you is the wood the wood had to avail itself to be used to create that habitation 
there are people here scattered across the overflow all of the overflows following online flowing from whatever nation before we even begin to minister to people i just sense in my heart to make the altar call very quickly you are here and you are saying apostle i desire to be this living ark of god's presence perhaps you were not here yesterday or you were here yesterday but you had not made up your mind to make this decision our time is fast spent here's how we're going to do it every overflow when i make the call you just go to the front of your screen and you stand there for time's sake i'm going to count one to five there are people here who are saying apostle i want to avail myself for the sake of your glory the glory of the only begotten even full of grace and truth you want me to pray for you before we start i like you to run like there's fire on the mountain i'm going to count five run and come and stand one run to jesus make sure you understand what you are doing you're coming out to give your life to jesus christ two all the overflows please come out I hear the chains falling hey, I hear the chains falling Keep coming Let it end tonight I hear the chains falling I hear the chains falling Hallelujah my god i already sense such such power in this place i'm going to pray for you all of you who are in front many of you are rededicating your lives to jesus the bible says let it be known to you the message of peter that this same jesus has been exalted today as both lord and christ this is the one we preach christ crucified christ resurrected many of you are coming here tonight God is giving you a new beginning. Do not be ashamed. We are a family. Those following online, you who is following from your home, you're following everywhere across the globe. God is giving you an opportunity to make Jesus Lord. Hallelujah. Please lift your right hand. Say after me as loud as you can. All of you in front, all the overflows, same. And those following in your home, say, Lord Jesus, tonight I believe in you. That you are the son of God. I obtain your mercy. And I obtain your grace. I ask. That you forgive me. And in the name of Jesus. I declare. That I am a recipient. Of eternal life. Jesus Christ. Is my savior. My lord. And my king. From today, I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Thank you, Father, for these ones that you have brought to yourself. I pray in the name of Jesus. By the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. And I declare that he gives you a new experience from today. I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit. I pray that you be established and grounded in righteousness and that you become mighty vessels for the master's use in jesus name i pray now very quickly just make sure you obtain a card there will be counselors giving you a card once you obtain it you can return back to your seat and just be patient and follow the remaining part of the meeting hallelujah please everybody rise we have a few minutes i want to pray for you tonight it's a miracle service and it's going to be a very quick one because our time is gone. Please let them return back to their seat. Just be patient with them. So let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. One more time. Let hope. 
Let it rise. God has rainbows in the morning. One more time. The Lord, by what he's going to be doing within the few minutes that we have, miracles and signs and wonders are a message from God to his people. Two messages basically. Number one, every time you see a miracle, it's a revelation of the love of God to his people. He's telling you that I have loved you with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness number two miracles are an attestation as to the fact that he is still lord i shared with you that there are four things that a man must have dominion over to be called lord number one is the earth number two the fullness the resources number three the mind control systems and number four the inhabitants and the Bible says the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the walls and they that dwell therein. We're going to be praying for the sick. I'll be ministering to you. We'll do that very fast within the time that we have. Please let your heart be open. You didn't come to waste your time. And those in the overflows, I'd like you to open up your heart knowing that the power of God will touch you where you are and the Lord himself will bring you victory. Are you ready for tonight? Lord, give me a visitation. Please pray in one minute. Give me a visitation that will change my life. Give me a visitation that will change my life. hallelujah 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 now let me start by praying for people who have been oppressed there are people here who have been oppressed of the devil when peter was preaching in the house of cornelius you don't have to come out don't worry i'll, I'll just give you the instructions on what to do the bible says peter was preaching and he said how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. With the Holy Ghost, he said, and with power. And the Bible says he went about healing. Not all they who were sick. You call it sickness. He called it oppression. And it tells you the oppressor, the devil. For God was with him. There is nowhere I find the devil that I will leave him to go free for oppressing lives and oppressing destinies i want to pray for you now and please as much as possible ushers now please listen whether you are an usher or not i want you to do well to just cooperate some of you are members the ushers may be limited but i want you to please help them anyone who is under the anointing close to you please do well and be your brother's keeper so that we minimize people enjoying themselves are we together the Lord Jesus appeared to me many years ago and he gave me an instruction and he told me that every city he would send me to and every nation and every territory the light that came from him to me that there must be someone in that meeting that that same light will come upon and I believe tonight please help them I believe that this light it brings healing it brings miracles i want to pray for you now there are people who have been oppressed of the devil please i want you to bring them out now these people i'm about to pray for at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus every oppression that is not of god every demonic orchestration of darkness that has sat on the destinies of people in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God, as you shout, 
it is Peshila, the shout that brings down Jericho. I decree and declare at the mention of that name, the one exalted as Lord and Christ, let there be deliverance for you right now. Are you ready? Please bring them out. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command every devil now, let their destinies go. Bring them out. Every devil, I command liberty, freedom, by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Wherefore, God has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. I decree and declare, be delivered now. Orchestrations of ancestry, activities of witchcraft connected to bloodline. Tonight we come by the road of the higher priesthood. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Bring them out. I cause every devil. We are still praying. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing families. There are whole families that have been under bondage. I want to pray now. There's fire coming from Kapaka to Katea. Bring them out in the name of Jesus. Every family here under the sound of my voice that has been under any demonic siege at the count of three. Let there be liberty. One, two, three. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Bring them out, help them please. In a paracos catabranda gataka de cata, Shakros catibarus sasiena cata, Emprecate catebala. Let an end come in the name of Jesus. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good. Hallelujah. We are praying. Who is Ebenezer? Our time is up. I have to pray for the sick. But I'm hearing a name Ebenezer. Who is Ebenezer? Ebenezer, you are wearing like a blue, like a check shirt. Is that Ebenezer? Is there someone like that? What's, please verify. Ebenezer. Don't match the people. Ebenezer. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from this side. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from? I mean your state. Ekiti state. Ekiti state. Yes. I want to pray for you. That everything that is connected to witchcraft, I stretch my hands, be delivered now. In the name of Jesus the Christ, I bring you life. That lady, this one, you on red, lifting your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. oppression goes forever over your life sir is this your wife i'm seeing the lord take something out of her body this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing something leaving her body that the devil has planted to destroy her in the name of jesus who is the christ of god i command that devil i call you by name in the name of jesus the bible says whosoever the son sets free is free indeed therefore we cause every devil madam i'm here to pray for the sick but i stretch my hands right now let there be a miracle for you in the presence of your husband don't worry she doesn't have to come to the front in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now is it amarachi is there something like that amarachi who is that amarachi i'm hearing a name amarachi the 
woman I'm seeing is not very tall. You bob your hair. You bob your hair. Amarachi. Is there someone like that? What is your name? Oh, your lifting has come. Oh, look at me, my dear. Where are you coming from? Ababa. Ababa. Where is that? What state is that? Okay, here. I want to pray for you and your family. Ah? Huh? You are the father. Baba, come. The Lord is visiting this family. You see why it's good to invite people to church? Because God can just save a whole nation. This is not about a man of God being powerful. I'm seeing one more person. You are three. Who is that? I'm seeing one more person connected to this family. In the name of Jesus. Huh? Are you Christopher? Where? Christopher, I invited him. The song we I don't know where he is. Because I'm seeing three people, not two. Where is the third person? What's the name? Arej Christopher. If, if it's not here because of time, we just have to pray so that we'll redeem the time. Sir, can I pray for you? You love Jesus? Very much. This is you see the beauty of coming to church. I was glad when they said unto me. God. The house of God is not a nuisance to civilization. We are a blessing. I pray for you right now. You and your daughter and all who are connected to you, sir. I pray for you. Four years, you are yet to have a child. This is what I'm saying. Four years. Who is that person? Please make sure you are married. Four years. husband and wife you are both in the choir husband and wife place your hand god is going to give you a baby boy help her out now i release you in the name of jesus christ celebrate your miracle the hand of god marvelous hand of god You two, how many years? Four years. Is your husband here? No, he's not here, sir. Four years. You are trusting God. You believe in miracles? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. What's your name? Inedu. Who is the head of this choir? Are you the head of the choir like the like the coordinator this because this is what i'm seeing on her because the lord is speaking to me and saying he's taking away the shame of the coordinator and i'm saying because she's not dressed like i'm not seeing her dress in the same uniform like them my dear in the name of jesus we come by the god of heaven and we declare let your womb be open now let it be open now in the name of jesus christ this woman is out too. for the same reason i'll pray for you please don't come out at random if you make this let's let's just don't worry god is going to visit you are we together now god is going to visit you The power of God is coming on someone at the ministers. Just one person. I just saw light. The Lord is shifting you into a new season. That's what the Lord is telling me. He's shifting you into a new season. I pray for you. All of you who are here for the sake of time. We have to rush. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a businessman here that God wants to restore. 
you have lost a lot of money this year i have to pray for you i don't mean somebody who is starting don't worry i know most this is a business place we are talking about the east here so i'm sure everybody will come out if i've said but just settle down there, there is a specific person that the lord is revealing to me i don't know what you do is it is it something that has to do with construction i'm seeing that you've lost a lot of money if there is someone like that I want to pray for you while I quickly pray for them. Father, everyone who is womb, in the name of Jesus, like Eli, Madam, this woman lifting her hands, I'm seeing oil coming on your head. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is revealing this to me. Right now, I stretch my hands and I declare, in the name of Jesus, let everything that represents oppression in your life and your family, let it come to an end right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it come to an end right now. There is someone holding photos. You came here with photos, pictures of your family members. Please, if there's someone like that, please verify so that it doesn't look like well. If, if it's not i'm not saying if you have photos in your bag you are holding photos let me pray for you it's just the instruction that the lord is giving to me for everyone here trusting god for the fruit of the womb i declare a miracle for you right now in jesus name i pray and sir i pray for you and your daughter and this hold on is he your son or your brother my brother same father same mother younger brother younger brother who is christopher Christopher. What's your name? Christopher Arej. From where? From, I'm from Amechala, Enugu Ezike. Amechala, Enugu Ezike. I'm going to pray for you because uh, please don't feel I'm not a prophet of doom. God will save you. But I'm looking at this man and I'm seeing him inside a coffin. I'm not that's why I said don't be afraid. This is we are ministers of life. I'm just revealing to you. You see the power of scripture because it is written is greater than I saw. no matter what it is that you see dominion is the ability to submit what you saw to it is written this is how ministers of the gospel the administration of the prophetic must be done with respect to the authority of scripture that means regardless what you see if it's inconsistent with what is written that becomes your assignment to make what you saw or what you heard turn and become what is written that's what it means to bring every thought to the obedience of Christ. This is how prophecy edifies the body. When prophecy submits to it is written, it now begins to edify. Otherwise, it will plant fear. If I leave this man right now, I have not blessed him. I will not only plant fear, I will plant fear to his family members who are watching. But dominion is the ability to bring any other thing, including what you saw. To the obedience of christ i'm saying this because the lord is also helping to train people in administering the gifts of the spirit so that we don't end up planting fear and a conference like this is done and people are worse than they were before it started no the character of the operation of scripture is that it must take away fear because god is love and perfect love casts out fear in the name of jesus sir no I'm, I'm don't worry i lay my hands upon you as a point of contact who is this one your wife who is this lady okay don't worry sir wherever they are as you are standing here by faith we agree for this family let there be transformation right now inside the name of jesus i declare that anything that is inconsistent with the character of the christ in your life we declare that it comes to an end now for all of you who have photos i lay my hands on those photos prophetically and in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god let there be miracles for you let there be miracles for you in jesus name please return to your seat i want to pray for the sick now very quickly please return to your seat so that we'll have space just believe that it is done i believe in miracles i'm a miracle myself We make miracle walk from mystery light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. We 
call you away make miracle water all this deep night in the darkness my God that is who you are wow I want to pray for the sick but the Lord is giving me an instruction I'll pray for the sick please I want to be your brother's keeper over this prayer I want to pray and I will tell you why every meeting I go to God gives me this instruction please whether you are an usher or not I want you to just help the people there is a grace for speed that can come upon an individual that can come upon ministries the Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran on barefoot. He overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Israel. Truly, God can compress time. Dominion over time is real dominion. Speed is a system of advantage given by God to men to help us actualize destiny. I want to pray. The reason why I'm saying you should help people is because people will start running. I want you to just hold them, bring them out here quickly. We are going to do this very fast. I apologize for the time, sir. Sincerely. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Father, in the name of oh, my goodness, my God. Look, I'm just seeing fire rest on people. Right now, I declare at the count of three, may this grace was be. Help them, please. Help them, please. Help them, please. Help them, please. I decree and declare every delay over anyone's life. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three. Receive speed. One, two, three. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Inside, outside, the overflows. Take that grace. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed in your accomplishments. I take 10 years and I put it in one year. I take one year and I put it in a patatukata. Kretetete patatoskata. 10 years in one year. One year in one month. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare over families here. Receive speed in Jesus name. 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 I am seeing fire fall on the choir. This is what I'm just seeing. Take that fire right now. Help them please. Take that fire. Take that fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Speed is coming upon your life. Speed is coming upon your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone held by any chain of delay. In the name that is above all names. I'm praying again. For individuals and for families. I break that chain. Let that chain of delay be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Hear me. When the glory of God came upon Aaron's rod, in one night without a root, it boarded. One night without a root. Everything that has refused to walk in your life. We stand under the corporate anointing here. And in the name of Jesus. He said, Master, we have toiled all night. Nevertheless, I speak to you. Go back and expel. Go back and expel. Go back and expel. Go back and expel. lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing right now I want you to believe in the healing power of Jesus for all of you who have come out here I declare that this grace you have contacted 
let it begin to speak immediately 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 who is Jennifer 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 I'm hearing a name Jennifer in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is rolling reproach from your family he's rolling away reproach right now rolling away reproach right now in the name of Jesus he said I wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll and the elder tapped me and said weep not for the lion of the tribe of Judah even the root of David is worthy hallelujah let this be the beginning of seasons of speedy achievements please lay your hands wherever you are trusting God for a miracle I want to pray for the sick now sir this is our father I, I presume you look like an Indian family am I right on that I want to pray for you the Lord wants to take away sickness I'm looking at a thermometer go up and down this has to do with high blood pressure I want to pray for you you believe in miracles sir can I pray for you you can just stay there no problem you don't have to come out I'll pray for you I just just to let you know that God is bringing a visitation God is bringing a visitation please lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing you can stand in for someone to those of you who are in front here please go back to your seat rejoicing anyone please go back to your seat rejoicing anyone here who if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest please do that all the overflows just lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle right now I believe in miracles I truly do I believe in the manifestation of God's power help her please some of you are already healed right from when you were coming overflows lay your hands everywhere I want to pray for you now listen for the sake of time I do not want and I do not intend to stretch us beyond time but very quickly for the sake of time this is what I want us to do as soon as I pray for you, some of you checking yourself from the time you came out here, there are all kinds of miracles that have happened. But very quickly, as soon as I pray for you, the power of God is going to touch you. You will be healed. I want the moment you confirm your miracle, I want you to quickly run and stand here. Please, if we can have one or two pastors here to just help us on that. We'll do it very fast. Take a few of the testimonies. We'll do the final impartation and we're done for the night. Hallelujah praise the Lord after a loud shout the healing power of Jesus will begin to move not your shout there is someone under the power of the Holy Spirit right now who will shout loud to the hearing of everybody honestly sometimes I don't know why God does that now I'm ready to pray for you in the name of Jesus lay your hands agree with me in prayer in the name of Jesus Christ in the hapakatos katepata in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I take authority over every devil of darkness the spirit behind disease sickness and infirmity I declare let God's people go free now everywhere following wherever you are I declare unto you be healed right now be healed right now every bone condition be healed right now if you're here and you're on a wheelchair or you're using crutches or on a stretcher lift it up and stand up now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ every blind eyes I command be open now every blind eyes be open now 
every deaf ear be open now every blood infection every blood in apacato scatter i'm seeing god healing people of hepatitis b be healed right now be healed right now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone with a condition um let it not embarrass you you go to toilets but you cannot use the toilet this is not just pile this is a situation i don't know what medical condition that is but it's difficult for you. you you can't even use the toilet right now the power of god is coming upon you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone with severe pain around your back in fact many people not just one person the power of god is touching you right now someone's left eye you didn't used to see well with your left eye but i pray for you right now clarity of vision right now there's someone even though i prayed for people with bone condition but you can't even lift your hands freely like this i don't know what the problem is i rebuke that devil peptic ulcer be healed now just have those under the anointing migraines be healed now every stomach ulcers and all kinds of ulcers be healed right now help her help her help her be healed right now out of her now out of her in the name of jesus christ hear me anyone with any growth in any part of your body whether growth around your breast area your abdominal area every growth in your body i command that growth to disappear now there's someone here i don't know what was diagnosed in your head like inside not not on your head inside and I, I don't know if it's a whatever medical condition but in the name of jesus right now i declare unto you be healed now be healed now lower abdominal pain severe pain help them lower abdominal pain the lord is healing you right now my god there are all kinds of miracles i'm looking at someone your uncle just here there is a severe pain there as soon as i am done praying check yourself now you will find out that pain is gone the lord is showing me someone you have a problem with your throat you know how when you swallow something and it doesn't go you keep feeling like there's something on your throat help her please this is how someone has been feeling but right now after this prayer at the instance of this prayer that devil lets you go forever now for the sake of time whether or not i mention your case be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name all the overflows be healed in jesus name across the nations of the earth be healed in jesus name there are already people coming out now please we have five minutes for this i want you to check yourself while we are rejoicing hallelujah you are going to give us one hot Igbo praise let the devil know that jesus is moving in the east while that is happening i like you to come out please check yourself the moment you find out there's a miracle come out miracles are happening here are you celebrating miracles please check yourself and make your way to the front choir can you help us in one minute two or three minutes just give us a song of praise as we celebrate the magnificent hand of god go ahead please very quickly keep coming check yourself and make your way to the front those in the overflows if they are coming for testimony please allow them usher's protocol allow them to come very very quickly please check them let there be a group of people who will check them and confirm keep coming god bless you keep coming keep coming miracles are happening in this place 
ibuchukuwa nye dima ibuchukuwa nye tike ibu wako na ove kamo wana kuno ikazo mani tena kutu ya kamjiri na siti everybody say he doesn't pay Jesus here. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Please be seated for a few minutes. Yes, please. Very quickly. Are you ready? Very quickly. Your name and what God has done very quickly. Yes, please. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. I'm Polakia Osakuni. Okay. I'm Delta State. School day, day. Okay, so. Straight to the point. Yes. What happened to you? Immediately you said that we should lay our hands on Place that spirit does we need healing. Yes. I laid my hands on my head because I've been having this, I don't know, is it migraine headache. It's so I don't know. What happened Jesus. now? And immediately I Completely. just said like, it just said I'm just gone. I'm like, I'm so happy. Praise the Lord. I've never seen this kind of instant miracle in my Hallelujah. life. Like I even have like eyesight. I, I couldn't see I, I wouldn't see what's written on the I'm blessed, you know. So I'm trying to see like I'm seeing you can see clearly now. now. Yes, like, Are you giving everywhere. Jesus praise? Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Celebrate Jesus very quickly. Praise the Lord. I'm Reverend Prince Alice. For more than 10 years now, I've been having this pain on my left shoulder that I can't even do anything. You're a man of God. Me. Yes, sir. But now, lift it up. Let the devil it. see you lift it up. I can't feel it anymore. I can't feel it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Lord will bless you to never return. And may your ministry step into a new season. In Jesus name God bless you very quickly yes please praise the Lord I'm Orifra Christiana and I had lower back pain for some months now but now I feel so good completely I'm bend down now. check yourself any pain any pain completely in the name of Jesus it never returns to you again yes please go ahead sir praise the Lord Apostle I'm goodness I'm the businessman you mentioned who has been who has had serious losses Secondly, I have my left eye. I have received serious healing on my left eye and serious abdominal pain just left. What happened to you now? Free. Gone completely. completely In the name of Jesus, I declare restoration for your business, whatever the issue is. We come as the parliament of heaven. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare an end comes now. In Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. Sir, when you mentioned the ankle problem, this is That's right. This man knows how to do this thing. God bless you. Yes, go ahead, Pastor. Hallelujah. So you made mention of the ankle. Um, I had an ankle dislocation. I couldn't even train. Ankle dislocation. But right now, for how long? No more. For some weeks, right now, I couldn't. Check yourself. Train. Jump. Any pain? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare you are free right now. Yes, sir. No, no, no. Yes. My name is Pastor John Tumobi. I have this terrible back pain. He has been there for many years, uh, for, for a long time now. Every time I wake up to pray in the morning, I can't, I can't, every time, even when I go for progress, yes. I'll be stretched. But this night is gone and I'm here. In the name of Jesus. Look what God, you are, oh, you are the man who was standing here. 
Oh, okay, I thought you were the one who was standing here. In the name of Jesus, Pastor, I declare over you and over your ministry. Look at me, sir. You have a church? Can I pray for you? There, you that's your wife yes. don't worry you don't have to come if god touches him he will show that you both of you are one i pray for you in the name of jesus christ may the power of the lord come upon you and your ministry i release grace for the next season in the name of jesus receive that anointing the same way god healed you here i pray for you i'm seeing fire come on your hand sir in the name of jesus let it be a new season for you madam as he's touching you is touching your husband and both of you will begin to operate in this grace god bless you sir congratulations yes sir oh this is our daddy sorry sir this man had been feeling headache all day because of high blood pressure as you have high as, blood pressure yes, yes as soon as you mentioned the high blood case he laid his hands on his head and the, head the baba that came here yes i did not take medicine because of because i was bringing my daughter here so why i was here my headache was my head was telling me that you did not take medicine today and so it is going to continue yes all right. i said it is the word of god that will heal it that's right so when you said we should place our hands there immediately i placed my hand there i am free in the name of jesus it will never return never return to you again in jesus name i pray yes please very quickly young man with the throat problem you mentioned throat condition yes how long what's your name um toby wazo i uh -huh. spent most of yesterday in the hospital my throat i couldn't swallow like i couldn't even eat but when you were when you were praying you mentioned it immediately like i can i can talk now i was whispering in the morning but still now i can talk praise the lord what will you eat this night now what is what kind of food will let the devil know that you are well may god bless you in the name of jesus christ yes please the next person very quickly no don't give him the mic if you give them mic they will not just just hold it for them sir yes sir i play i play football frequently sir you're a footballer yes i play football frequently sir for i play football frequently. okay so i have this pain on my left knee. a knee pain yes sir. for how long since this year started actually okay and right now when check you yourself please, check yourself please, you play for who you professionally no, 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 no. or you just play football oh i thought it's professionally i would have prayed for you in the name of jesus christ no may the lord bless you whatever you are doing professionally may god bless you in the name of jesus christ yes please yes sir this woman has had what doctor called clavicle spongylosis Come she again. couldn't raise her arm for two years and you couldn't raise her your hand for two raise years. it now look at this let us speak what is i can hardly sleep on this side each time i sleep i wake up with pain and right now i can't feel the pain ah. thank you jesus in the name of jesus the christ of god it will never return to you again in jesus name yes please very quickly very quickly very quickly he had he's had pain for uh, around his uh, private region for over two years my god immediately she, he came in and he started praying it disappeared a miracle feel for you now anymore. in the name of jesus christ this healing remains permanent my dear brother in jesus name i pray now for the sake of time there's, there's a long queue here what we'll, we'll just take two or three three and then we'll just pray tomorrow during reverend george session you can share it the most important thing is that god visited the people it doesn't matter how or through who it happened we give him all the glory yes please this young lad said he's had stomach pain for three days now but this when boy, we are praying the stomach pain disappeared you know i love children what's your name kesta where is it where's the kesta how old are you eight eight Nine. may god make you such a smart child you will never do anything twice to succeed <laughs> In the name of jesus christ the lord bless you you are healed you remain healed forever in jesus name yes please he said his heart and his eyes has been paining him for over for a long time now and how long my, i don't know as it, it has been long but i had a headache this as i was coming but it disappeared as you were praying completely completely it's gone may the lord bless you this tall gentleman are you a footballer yes he looks like because i was laying my head there but as soon as she mentioned it he disappeared oh come check yourself yeah <laughs> in the name of jesus christ may the lord bless you may the lord bless you yes let's just 
He has told me a myriad of things. You are born to share a testimony. <laughs> um, at time, yes, go ahead. He has told me a myriad of things. Okay. From stomach ulcers to everything. But the one that is striking is that his vision, one of the eyes could not see properly. But he said, one, one, saw better than the other. one was seeing better and now, than the other. But right now, completely. He says he has 20 20 vision. You can see everything here. This one saw better than the other, but I, I could notice for as long as I can remember. When yes. I'm just all, all alone, I could just close this and I noticed that this one saw better than this. Well, it wasn't really a problem for me, but now I can see 20 In the name of Jesus, perfection for you. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. pain on my ankle for as long as i can remember pain on your ankle again yeah, this one yes i don't know when it started i just know i can't and right now it. what happened to you when you said um when at the end of the prayer that everything is going to be fine but during the prayer i was still feeling the pain and i felt ah are you sure and right now right now what happened to you like check yourself <laughs> it's gone completely like, she will never return to you again this this gentleman okay my name is humble the last time you come to upper house where i was my with my medical report i lay it down here since 2008 i was having chest pain i have go to a different lab or they will tell me that my what happened now what happened now? now i can turn to the Lord in the name yeah. of jesus christ it never returns to you now for all of you whether you have come out to testify or not we give jesus the glory for all that has happened and we declare that these miracles remain permanent in your life in jesus name and for those of you who receive miracles online you can do well to let the church know that you have been touched by the power of god please rise up let's do the final impartation so we can wrap up the meeting for tonight hallelujah have you been blessed tonight please do not forget the teaching that you heard tonight in addition to the powerful sessions that you'll be having tomorrow and then on sunday make sure that your heart is open the conference is not over there's tomorrow session in the morning and then on sunday powerful sessions with the spirit of god i want to pray and declare over your life an impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities it is possible for you to receive a grace you did not come to this meeting with that is the essence of conferences like this that you hear the word but then you are empowered by the spirit ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2 verse 2 says and the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet the holy spirit comes to confirm the word i stretch my hands and i decree and declare over everyone under the sound of my voice the grace that you will need to demonstrate the reality of the fact that god lives in you I release that grace upon you now I release that grace upon you now hear me everywhere you have been inefficient I decree and declare the grace that makes for excellence there is such a grace may that grace rest upon you now every closed door that has refused to open over your life and your destiny i join my faith with all the servants of god here and we declare may that door be open now may that door be open now please hear me where you have failed again and again and again we release grace upon you because today you have become the act of god in experience May your results show that you carry divine presence. Let me pray for your family members who are not here. You see, in this kingdom, the law is as for me and my house. If you are blessed alone, you are not blessed. It has to extend to you. It says, for this promise is unto you and to your children to your children's children as many as are afar off even those that the lord will call i pray for you if there is anyone connected to you who is going through any season that requires the administration of god's power in the name of jesus we bring those negative seasons to an end now
some of you have lost time some of you have lost things i decree and declare let there be supernatural restoration if there is anyone here that is trusting god for a job or trusting god for some sort of establishment structural establishment in the name that is above all names i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead be established now i want to declare advancement over your life the bible says it was the lord that caused moses and aaron to advance it is god that causes men to advance men do not just move i pray for you where you have you have encompassed this mountain long enough therefore i prophesy go higher i prophesy go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward please hear me i speak to you in the name of jesus like it happened to the philistines anybody who troubles you goes down instantly please believe it we are wrapping up can i pray for you if there is anyone holding what is yours tonight in this place we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn until it enters your hand in the name of jesus christ anyone here and any family here marked for death that you will not see the end of december in the name of jesus we cause the spirit of death over your life i prophesy over your life whether you are flying in the air whether you are going on road whether it's by the sea be divinely protected in the name of jesus can i pray for your prayer life as i round up whatever has destroyed your passion for god your passion for the ministry of prayer in the name of jesus this night we set your prayer life on fire again we set your prayer life on fire again the grace to pray the grace to be consistent the discipline to travel in the name of jesus christ i pray for your word study life whatever has destroyed your passion for the word in the name of jesus let there be restoration this night hear me i want to destroy wrong associations from your life as we round up just help those under the anointing jonah entered a boat and made people to lose so many things he didn't talk associations have prophetic implications jesus entered the same boat and yet he saved many people from destruction hallelujah apostle paul was in a boat and he told the people do not fear an angel has appeared to me he has told me there shall be no loss and they went safely and arrived at an island called melita i pray for you anyone who is connected to your destiny who is carrying a negative prophetic atmosphere i separate you from them right now hallelujah finally anyone here and any family here suffering from oppressions connected to ancestry connected to bloodline patterns you are seeing what happened to others coming the bible declares that we have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation therefore in the name of jesus be delivered from everything connected to ancestry and for those who are members of house on the rock church enugu 
the bible declares that a worker is deserving of his wages your pastor has so honorably honored you i lend my voice and my faith with your pastor the angel over this house and i decree and declare unto you be blessed in the name of jesus 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 over the territory of enugu we decree that everything that is not of god we use this meeting as a point of contact to speak to the east of the niger hear the word of the lord we decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead there must be peace in your region everything that represents violence everything that represents bloodshed everything that represents the activities of terrorism we command the earth to fight wickedness in the name of jesus christ and i decree and declare finally over the church in enugu you will never lose the fire of revival the lord bless you the lord increase you reverend edward thank you i love you with all my heart house on the rock the lord bless you enjoy the remaining sessions in jesus name dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline